Yo, what is going on, guys? It's Manny, and today I'm bringing you yet again another pre-anniversary video. Bandai have just been on the ball. I can't even like what. What is this? Are you guys seeing what's on the screen right now? I mean, you guys probably clicked the video because of the thumbnail, but I mean, this is just this is just two new mini games: Pig Races, Ball Buster. Beat the mini games and you can get Shino, but oh my god, Banda, you've you've outdone yourselves. You've actually outdone yourselves. Now, before I get on into the rest of the video, I would like to say a huge thank you for all the recent support. A lot of you have subscribed, and uh, again, cannot thank you guys enough. Um, I will be uploading more of these uh, Shisui, not Shisui, but um, Hokage challenge videos. Uh, so also be on the lookout for that. You can check out my Shisu one I did upload just a few hours ago. Um, I teased a couple of other things in that video as well. So be sure to check that out. And if you are new around here and are enjoying the content, feel free to subscribe. But um, yeah, so the uh, the pig races. I mean, <laughs> this is this is actually ridiculous. So people have been begging for content into the game for like. God knows how long. Now, whether or not this will be very, very entertaining content, or it'll just be some kind of mini game type thing where it's like we play for five minutes and it's over, like content is content. And this is actually, this is genuinely for the first time in like 60 years, this is actually new. Like we've, we've never seen anything like, I can't even tell you what to expect. I mean, I, I, what, 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 where do I even begin? Pig racing. Do we just do we just bet on a pig and hope he wins and then if he wins we get Shino bite? Like is it some R is it just RNG? Like <laughs> so many questions. But um when this mode does come out, be sure that I will find the most efficient way and the best way to grind these mini games and uh, upload that content for you guys. But um yeah, Banda have honestly outdone themselves. Everybody has been like asking and praying for like a like more methods to be able to grind Shino bite. And as you can see, this is 100% confirmed. Beat the mini games and you can get Shino bite. It literally says Shino. Yeah, so look, Bandai, Bandai being sourced and up. We're finally going to have another Shino bite outlet outside of just, um, you know, the daily achievements as well as um, just logging in. We'll have another way to get Shino bite. And I think uh, this should be permanent. I'm hoping it's permanent. <laughs> But um, remember to play them every day. So yeah, I feel like yeah, you can just I don't know if it's like limited to a specific amount that you can play because I feel like if if we could play this game over and over again, we could just farm Shino bites, which I don't think Bandai will allow. So it might just be like a play once a day type thing. But um, either way, it's better than nothing, right? And I mean, look at this. It looks beautiful. It looks very uh, visually appealing. And, um, and yeah, so another thing and a huge, huge thing that we did also get updated on is that Guild Sam is going to be coming into the game. Um, as you can see, surprise tech mission number 23, aka second anniversary Sam, it will be on the way. And um, it's, it's pretty much confirmed that we're fighting. 10 tails um, you can check out my previous videos to see my thoughts on that but um, this guild Sam ranking thing as well like I predicted and like I said um, we are going to get a guild ranking this Sam and they're changing up the whole surprise attack mission system they're pretty much everything you know from surprise attack mission it's 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 no longer it's no longer known because it's everything I don't know how they're gonna do this because as you can see um, Compete using the score based on the number of unsealed giant bosses that guild members defeat. So we get we get points based on how many of the uh, ten tails that we kill. However, I'm not too sure how they're going to allocate the points because um you guys all know there's four modes: there's beginner, um, advanced, uh, expert. <laughs> I skip one because I think I think it's intermediate. Yeah, beginner, intermediate, advanced, expert. There's four modes. And I don't know if they're just going to make it one mode, 
because I feel like it'll it'll make more sense for it to just be one mode, so it does it, it, le it leaves less confusion, right? Because it wouldn't make much sense to make expert worth like four points if you kill the boss and beginner like one point. Because I mean, you could just spam beginner over and over again and abuse that. So I feel like Bandai will hopefully find a way to make it fair. I mean, I think the most fair way would be just to make it a universal boss. As in, there's only one mode. There's only like, you can only just unseal for one mode. There's no, there's no um, beginner, intermediate, advanced or whatever. It's just, it's just one mode. Um, as well as um, how the points will be allocated. So it says um, it'll be scored based on the number of um, giant bosses that guild members defeat, right? So here's the thing. Not everybody will be in a guild. That is that is hundred percent guaranteed fact. Not everyone's going to be in a guild, or they will be in a guild, but not everyone in their guild will be online to play. So they will still have to play some public games with other people. So how will they score this? My theory and prediction is, um, say that we have uh, four people in our lobby, all in our guild. My guild would be Syndicate. Say I team with three of my guild members plus myself and we defeat a sand boss, that would equate to four points for uh, the guild. Whereas if you're playing public um, and you're lob lobbying with um, different guilds, say uh, someone from Ganesh's guild joins my lobby, someone from Lord Lug's guild joins my lobby, someone from Oaks Evo's guild joins my lobby, and then obviously myself. So that's four different guilds. If we were to kill that boss, I think we would get one point each for our uh, uh, individual guilds so you, you get what i'm saying so i feel like that would be a pretty wise way and it makes the most sense because um otherwise there would literally be no point being in a guild and they're making this guild thing um very very like crucial like people by the way if you do not have a guild um i do recommend going to the reddit discord clicking on the um guild recruitment over here and as you can see, all these new guilds are looking for players. And uh, why is this so important? Because um, as you can see, uh, please note that while a surprise attack mission is underway, players cannot leave slash be removed or join a guild. Meaning, I am unable to kick anyone from my guild nor accept anyone into the guild. So once, once surprise attack mission begins, and this is a whole new feature. So once surprise attack mission it begins, that's your guild. You're locked in. There's no bouncing in between guilds trying to pick the best guild for you. Because I feel like Bunda are trying to make guilds more of like a compact family now. Because as, you, as we'll soon see, they, they, they said players can earn battle badges and other rewards based on their rank. Now, as I said before in my previous videos, these battle badges are going to be very, very crucial, especially for um, the guild and th the members in the guild. Like a lot of people will want to start trying to join the higher level guilds because they'll have a lot of these guild badges. And these guild badges are going to be, um, oh, I mean, these battle badges are going to be very, very um, important in a sense that they can, they pretty much boost um, a bunch of variety of things. So um, as you can see, We'll be able to obtain these ones, and obviously, I think this Gamakichi is the is the best battle badge to obtain. And um, as you can see here, uh, once you have a certain amount of these battle badges, you will have a different percentage um, depending on whatever these boost. And it says defense shinobi stats boost, battle badge shinobi stats boost, uh, battlefield shinobi stats boost. Um, like all this is for your fortress defense. So your your members in your fortress can get stronger depending on how many how how many um of these battle badges you acquire from Sam. And that just sounds that sounds absolutely ridiculous. So the better the guild is, or the more compact the guild is, and um and uh, and 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 the more like they they grind together and whatnot, and and you build like a solid foundation, the less likely that you know the less likely that people would want to leave that guild because your guild's already so, so, so like popping and whatnot. So. I mean, Banda have pretty much made guilds like, look, you gotta be in a guild, or else, uh, it, <laughs> or else you're pretty boned. Cause, um, yeah. So, again, if you want, if you are looking for guilds, I do recommend joining this. Uh, gen, you can go on Reddit and just find this general Discord. Um, very easy to, very easy to find. As you can see, there's a bunch of guilds looking uh, for newer members. And 
what not. Now, I'm just going to go quickly to the sneak peeks. Always shout outs to Crom. Your boy Crom for leaking this. Like we I we already had suspicions that this would happen for this anniversary of Sam, as you can see. Um Guild Sam rankings. Um as well as the Guild Sam rewards. So um as you can see, this is like an example. It says Guild Sam ranking. It says giant it's very, very small, but trust me on this. It says giant victory, uh giant boss victory score eleven. So this uh beta test or whatever test uh guild had 11 meaning they killed the boss 11 times so again like i was saying before it might be dependent on, on how many times your guild individually kills so you would probably want to lobby up with four people so if you kill the uh sand boss you get four points so uh, i mean that that would be the that would be the most sense right and then the rewards the rewards for rank one is absolutely insane because you get 10 of the rainbow ones and one of the bronze ones which is basically the uh my well it's going to be the uh the most top tier one so you get 10 of these ones and uh, one of these ones now I'm, I'm interested to see how they do top 100 for the guild sams because um obviously top 100 in uh individual sam compared to um guild sam is gonna be very different because there's gonna be a lot more players than there are guilds so they might I don't know how they're gonna do the rewards if because I don't think that like rank 10 to rank 100 will receive the same rewards I feel like they'll have, they'll have to tear it off in a different manner but um I mean every all the all the try hard guilds will, will definitely be aiming for this rank one spot if not top 10 but um yeah so comment down below if you guys are excited for this upcoming feature this uh these mini games look very very spicy as well as if you are excited for the bang um upcoming surprise attack mission now um again if you're wondering when it is it is the 21st of november so it is in like three days and it is super close everyone is super hype we actually got so many we got so many, so many things coming our way, and and it's, it, I can't, I can't thank Bandai enough. Thank you for communicating with us, Bandai, and producing us with all this source. But um, yeah, like, comment, and subscribe if you are new around here, and if you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you in the next one.